Now, just how powerful are big corporations? We heard about their role in lobbying, but listen to this. The website Cryptome published a Microsoft document that showed the company stores private user information. Well, what happened? Microsoft had the site shut down. Joining us now is the site's creator, John Young, from our New York studio. So, Mr. Young, why do you think you're such a big threat to Microsoft, and how did they get your site shut down? They used a sly technique of the copyright law, uh, which allows instantaneous shutdown, basically, uh, and, and does not require a court order or litigation to do so. And it's a very common tactic that corporations are using right now to censor the web. Now, why do you think you're such a threat to Microsoft? Well, I think it's not only a threat to Microsoft, it's a threat to their client, which is the law enforcement agencies, who do not want, know, do not want the public to know that this is going on. So I think that Microsoft is just fronting for the law enforcement people. Interesting. So you think that perhaps the government is behind this and Microsoft was just the front guy? That's correct. Now, you have, for more than 10 years, been putting government documents on your website. You put this Microsoft document up there. Have the federal agents been after you before? What kind of run-ins have you had? We hear from um, uh, police officials, FBI, and others uh, regularly. Uh, turns out because we're not doing anything illegal, uh, they haven't found a way to shut us down. That's why they're using a subterfuge like copyright. And this is part of a, of a worldwide phenomenon to, to clamp down on the Internet using copyright and a variety of other uh, civil means rather than openly doing it by law enforcement. Uh, it's not it's happening in the U.S. and other countries, the very same means, because if the government was admitted it was behind it, it would cause an outcry. So they're using these subterfuges to do it. How? How are they getting Microsoft to do that sort of thing? Well, is they're invoking the copyright law, which does not require a court hearing, does not require lawyers. They can just send an email to the service provider, like ours, and uh, the service provider then turns around under this law and says, within two days, if you don't take a document down, we will shut your site down. And so that's what this law allows. And so it's a, it's a law that's very convenient for this purpose. There are other laws that serve the same purpose, but it basically deflects attention from the fact of who benefits from this. Microsoft does not benefit from this. It is law enforcement who benefits from this, and that's why the document is stamped a law enforcement document. The, uh, so the government does not want to know that these corporations are being used for this purpose. And it's not only in the United States, don't forget. It is around the world. And many of these corporations operate around the world, and they are complicit with government in, in controlling the Internet and particularly controversial sites. Google, Microsoft, Cisco, all the major players are involved in this, and they're required to do it under law, under the, under the CALEA spy ta uh, uh, wiretap law. So copyright is a cover for the wiretap operation, and uh, that's why we challenged it. We knew this was going on, and so we, we said, this is not a copyright violation. This is important information because copyright typically protects intellectual property like Microsoft's programs. But this is not a program. This is a how-to guide for law enforcement to analyze the data that, that Microsoft provides to them. So it's not a real program. It's just a guide. They clamped a copyright uh, claim on it so they could use the copyright law. We think that's an abuse of the copyright law, but it actually the, the greater abuse is that they're not being candid about why they're doing this, and law enforcement does not want to be exposed. That's why Microsoft backed off. They did not want to go to court, which we hope they would, in order to um, hear more about this. Well, it We're not alone in, in challenging. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it looks like you succeeded because your site is back up now. But I'm just curious. I mean, how much goes 